Hey guys, what's up? Danielle here and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, and if you're turning, welcome back. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to click that subscribe button and join the family. Welcome to my What I Got for Christmas haul 2023. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I just wanna preface by saying I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I'm truly grateful for everything that I got. I'm so lucky and so blessed, and I love everything that I got. What I got for Christmas hauls are truly one of my favorite videos, so I just wanted to share one with you guys because I absolutely love watching them, so I hope you guys love watching this one too. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. I sorted everything into different categories, so let's start with the home, apartment, decor. I have been trying to get much better at cooking and learning to create good healthy meals. So the first thing that I got is a crock pot. I'm so excited for this. I have been dying to learn how to make soup or just quick and easy meals that I can cook in the morning and when I get home from school it will be ready. But this is the perfect size for me and I can't wait to start using it. Next up I got an electric griddle. I'm so excited for this one. I got this in a white elephant and I'm so happy with this. Like I said I'm trying to get into my cooking era so this is going to be super helpful for that. Next up I got this super cute pot holder. Surprisingly I don't own any so I got my first pot holder. Next up, I got this Pisces candle. It is so cute. This is just such a cute candle. It smells so good, and I love anything to do with Pisces because I am a Pisces. Next up, I got this fun little keychain. It is a tape measure. It goes up to three feet, but can never go wrong with having a tape measure. Next up, I got this adorable mug. It's so cute and perfect. It's purple, it's got a dog on it, and inside it says dog person, which you know I am a dog person through and through, and I just love it so much. Next up, I got this wine rack. I am 22, so I do have wine every now and then. It's perfect for my apartment just to store. I love this pattern. I got this adorable Spotify acrylic picture. One of my law school best friends got it for me and it's a picture of the three of us in our group and it's got a Glee song, Lean On Me. They put me onto Glee so I have been watching it. I don't know why I've never watched it before but now I am. I'm obsessed with this and it's gonna look so cute in my apartment. I got this mini desktop punching bag and if you know, you know. I'm going to probably put someone's picture on here and I'm going to I definitely need this. It's definitely going to be used, especially as a stress reliever. I just think this is so cute and so fun, and if you know me, it'll definitely be used. I got this adorable personalized blanket. It says, just a girl who loves books, and it's personalized. It has my name on it. They personalized it to look just like me. This is just the cutest, and it's super soft and comfortable, and I can't wait to curl up with a good book with it. The last thing apartment decor related is this throw pillow. I am obsessed with it. This is a design of my foster Ivy. She is a service dog in training and she left me in May, which I'll have that video linked down below for you guys to check out. But this is a throw pillow of her on it and it's so cute. I have one of my other foster, so I am so excited to add this to the collection. It's absolutely perfect. I always have a constant reminder of my puppies. Next up, I got some school and book related stuff. I asked for this book. It's how to be sort of happy in law school. I saw this on TikTok and I was really intrigued by it, so I definitely wanted to read it. I genuinely enjoyed my first semester of law school. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done and I still have no idea how I did, but I definitely know I, there are things I want to do differently for next time. And I thought this book would just be super helpful. I also got a new planner for 2024. I'm so excited. I get a planner for Christmas every single year. This is the one I put on my list. I switched things up and I finally found a pink planner. I'm typically very much a blue gal, but I finally picked a different color this year and it's pink with like some flowers on it. It's a cute design. It came with stickers and 
I'm just excited for a new planner. Very much a type A planner girl, so this is gonna be super helpful for the new year. I didn't get much in terms of electronics this year, but I did get the Instax Mini 12. I asked for this because my old one broke, and I absolutely love taking Polaroids, so this one is gonna be perfect, and it's going to be well used and loved. Jumping into the beauty category, I got a lot of stuff in this category this year. I absolutely am so excited for all of it. Starting off, I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I've never tried this moisturizer before, so I'm really excited to give it a try. I am trying to work on my skin still, and hopefully this one works. I got a Lumify because you can never have too many eye drops. I got a mini sample of the Mara Universal Face Oil. I have been obsessed with this brand. I've tried a few products from them, but I've never tried the facial oil, so I'm super excited to try this out. Next up, I got this lip balm from Al Johnson's in Door County. It's just a natural lip balm, so I am very happy to have these just throw in my purse and take it with me everywhere I go. Next up, we got a Versed Mini Cleansing Balm. I have been dying to try this one. I've heard so many good things, and I've been really into cleansing balm recently. I got some pimple patches and these under eye masks. I definitely need these. The bags are so real. These are definitely going to come in handy, especially with the next semester of law school. I got this Loom whole body deodorant. that I've never heard of this before, but I got it in my stocking and I'm super excited to try it. I'm always looking for a new deodorant. My skin is super sensitive, so I'm excited to give this one a try and see if it works for me. I got this Bath & Body Works Stress Relief Body Cream. I am obsessed with this scent. This one is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. It's by far the best stress relief scent. Eucalyptus and Spearmint, my holy grail. It got me through law school. I'd be whipping it out in class all the time and just, I love this so much and it's definitely one of my staples in my law school backpack. So now I got a little restock of it. I got the Laneige mini sets. I really like Laneige. I have their lip balm. I've tried their sleeping mask before. This is a kit of the sleeping masks. I love that it includes the little like spatula in here. I'm just really excited to try the new flavors. I know I like the gummy bear. I have that in the lip balm. So I'm just super excited to try all the other different flavors. I got the Beatles 36 Colors Gel Polish Kit. I have been super into doing my own nails recently. I have acrylic tips and I have just the gel kit. So I asked for more colors this year just to spice it up and give it a good variation, but I'm super excited to try these out. I got three new claw clips. They're all gold and a bunch of different styles. I'm super excited to use them. I absolutely love claw clips, so you can never have too many. I got a lot from Tree Hut this year. Starting off, I got this Tree Hut Dashing Through the Glow Sugar Scrubs gift set. It comes with three different body scrubs, Rock and Rose, Marshmallow Lodge, and Candy Cane. They all smell so good, and they're actually like full-size products. I really like the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs, and they all have really great scents. I actually was looking at this, but decided not to get it. And so then I got it for Christmas and I couldn't be happier. Also from Tree Hut, I got the Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. I really like this scent. It smells so good, just smells vacation-y. I've not tried the body butter before, so I can't wait to use this. I also got the Tropic Glow Shaving Oil. I love their shaving oil and I love it in this scent. So I'm excited just to have another restock. Next up, I got my tried and true all-time favorite dry shampoo. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Next up, I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Sweet Mint. I've heard so many good things about the Summer Fridays Lip Balm, so I'm excited to try it out, and I love a good minty lip balm. I'm so excited to give it a try and see what all the hype is about. The last thing that I got in the beauty category is this Bioionic Curling Iron. This is the one inch pro curling iron. I asked my hairstylist which one she thought was the best and she said it was this one, so I wanted to give it a try. But I've been trying to step up my curling game and I feel like this is just the perfect way to do it. Next up, I got some fuzzy socks. You can never go wrong with fuzzy socks and Blue is my absolute favorite color. 
I got some earrings. This is a six pack of chunky gold hoops. I've been trying to get more into gold recently. I've been told that I'm a gold girly. I truly don't know. Most of what I wear is silver, but I have been known to dabble it up in the gold area. So I got some new gold hoops. I have been needing new hoops, so I'm super excited. And I know they're gonna be so cute. I got this like maroonish sweatshirt. It is super light, but also super comfortable. It's more of like a dressier, nicer sweatshirt, I wanna say. So I'm super excited to wear this. It looks so comfortable. You can never go wrong with a new sweatshirt. Going along those lines, I got two new sweatshirts that are St. Louis and St. Louis University related. And I've been loving living in St. Louis, so I wanted to rep what I love. I got this adorable pink St. Louis sweatshirt. It's so comfortable and I love how simple yet adorable this design is. I also got this St. Louis University sweatshirt. I've been trying to get more SLU and SLU La merch, so this is just another one to the collection. I absolutely love the vintage look. It's just so cute and it's so comfortable. I have been needing a winter jacket after last season. I parted with my old one because it was very worn down. So I finally got a new jacket. It's huge, it's comfortable, it's super long, which is what I love. And I can't wait to use it. Hopefully Missouri stays a little bit cold so that I can use it, but I finally have something and I don't have to just keep layering on sweatshirts. This year I got a new pair of Lululemon leggings. I needed them because my old ones ripped and were just super worn down. So I'm excited for a new pair. Can never go wrong with a pair of black leggings and these are the Align 28 inches. So some of our Christmas parties this year were a little bit early so I did get some money from those and I already spent it so I wanted to show you guys what I got with that money. I went to American Eagle and I finally bought two new pairs of jeans. I've already worn these and they are so comfortable. These are the curvy mom jeans. They have just two rips in the knees. I love them because the rips aren't too much, but you still get a little rip in them. While I don't love the price, American Eagle jeans to me are just superior and pretty much the only jeans I wear. I also got another pair of mom jeans. These are just light blue denim. These ones don't have any rips in them. I've been trying to get more business casual things that I can wear that are more professional. So I got two new pairs of jeans and I'm actually really happy with these purchases. The last thing that I bought with my Christmas money is from Buckle. I got a new pair of sunglasses and they're kind of out of my comfort zone, but I love them. Like, look at how cute these are. I'm just obsessed with these. I'm definitely so happy and excited about this purchase. The last thing that we have is food, drink, snack, candy category. I did get this bottle of Winking Owl Moscato. I love Moscato and I love the Winking Owl brand. It's just so affordable and it tastes so good. I got two little packets of hot cocoa mix. In my stocking, I got a vintage cola Olipop. I absolutely love Olipop. The grape Olipop is by far my favorite, but these just taste so good and I feel so much better drinking them. Olipop, you have my heart and I'm so glad I got these for Christmas. I got this giant tub of the Favorite Day Caramel White Cheddar and Butter Popcorn Trio. I already dug right into it. They taste so good. You can never go wrong with a good little snack. I got another little popcorn candy chocolate mix. I got a chocolate covered pretzel some ring pops, peanut M&Ms, a Pikachu Pez dispenser and some extra Pez to go with it, a Fannie Mae Mint Melt Away, a candy cane, a classic candy cane filled with M&Ms, some Reese's Trees, which are so freaking good, and some Junior Mints. These are the Peppermint Crunch ones. I love anything peppermint. I did get some more money, gift cards, and scratch-offs. One of my scratch-offs won. I won $5, so I can't wait to go cash this one. I also got a bunch of different gift cards. I got a nail gift card, got a Dunkin' gift card, got some Starbucks gift cards, got a Target gift card, and I got a Chick-fil-A gift card. So I'm excited to use these and treat myself a little bit. And then I am going to be splitting up my cash, saving it, and putting it towards things that I want, need, you know, all the good stuff. And that is everything that I got for Christmas this year.
Thank you guys all so much for watching my What I Got for Christmas Haul 2023. I absolutely love sharing it with you guys and I love watching these videos. So I hope you guys did enjoy everything. Comment down below your favorite Christmas present that you got this year. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season and was spent with lots of love and family, friends, things that just made you happy. I'm extremely grateful for 2023 and everything it's brought for me and I can't wait for 2024 and what the new year beholds. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, which will be right here. And yeah. All right, I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you all next video. Bye, guys.